Welcome back my lovely darlings. Today we're going to talk about capes. Capes are really really great when it comes to cooler climate, when it's already a little bit chill outside and you want to have this kind of extra layer of protection and you really want to feel like it's warm, you want to feel like um, you know like very very chic and i think capes giving you this kind of really chic and elegant effect they're a little bit different than uh, obviously coats i think capes can be even much more elegant uh, than coats than some of the coats um, and for that reason i thought it's going to be really really great to talk about capes today so there's so many different type of capes uh, obviously there are different materials um, i'm not going to go really details here i just want to show you some outfits obviously that i feel they are beautiful and um, you can maybe get inspired by them i think when it comes to capes there's obviously a few rules um, and i find that first first of all um, the capes are the capes can be really really elegant as I said um, but it's also finding I think quite important is to find your own like length if you want to go uh, like a rule like general I would say that the most um, elegant capes are going to be before your knee you can obviously find the capes that are after your knee as well and I think just after it's still going to be okay but I would avoid um, those very very long capes they are looking a little bit sometimes even funny you know sometimes they can look like a costume um, as well so if you really want to go for those more chic ones then I would go just be in front of your or in front of your knee length and those are going to like you can't really go wrong with those uh, type of length I would say um, but as I'm saying avoid first I will just focus to avoid those really really long ones because there is something about them that even those made of beautiful materials if you compare exactly the same two capes but just one is going to be shorter and one is going to be very long you're going to see that the shorter one looks just much better much more feminine as well the long one i don't know there's something about them like for me they just look like you um like you're wearing some kind of costume you know there's so many looks you can like find online that they are really really gorgeous but I wanted to show you this one. This one actually is inspired um, by this television program Skanda. I don't know if you saw that ever but um, there's this powerful like a lawyer, um, I think she's a lawyer, yeah. And she's like um, helping you know a lot of different cases to the White House but anyway. And this is just one of the outfits that um, is inspired by this TV show and I think it's absolutely fantastic especially that cape obviously is very like monochromic it's beautiful shades of this kind of uh, ivory color of the color of the bone or stone there's so many different name of those colors um, with little gray to it and I think what even makes it more stunning is that the cape the lady she's wearing cape and she has uh, also those be beautiful um, gloves leather gloves that just adding so much elegance to this outfit and adding so much like chic um, just the gloves and the capes together it's absolutely beautiful combination and obviously everything else is just looks really great it's very professional outfit as well so if you're thinking of buying a cape then obviously you can still wear it to work or still wearing if you're going for some kind of meetings or something like this i think this is a very very chic one of my favorite actually outfits that i'm going to show you today this is very like light colors it's really like a type of pastel -y. it's just really really beautiful Another outfit that uh, it's really really lovely, really chic, elegant and feminine as well. It's um, this outfit inspired um, by the actress that she's playing, Emily in Paris. Um, and I'm not sure if this actually outfit it's not from Emily in Paris. I didn't see the show complete, full, like I just stopped somewhere after a few episodes, but yay! Epi few episodes but I think this might be the outfit from the show but anyway I just wanted to show you this as well because it's black and white it's lovely she has a lovely shoes and um, she's wearing tights as well so it's very very elegant especially if it's like winter or autumn you know you don't really want to have a bare leg um, and I love that the lipstick and the back have this kind of like a similar shade so it all just works really really well together it looks really really expensive and um, it just represents herself really really lovely here 
another really great outfit that I think it still need to be mentioned and it's something a little bit different that um, I always mention that it's really good to go for those kind of like a, um, base colors that they are like not too strong patterns because those you can wear every season and years after years after years but obviously some of us are more flamboyant than others and I think this outfit is a little bit more flamboyant it has this kind of something interesting going on because of the pattern on the cape again lady she paired with a leather glove so you can see that this kind of idea of having a cape pairing with leather gloves um, in any color that really is going to match to your cape is just really brilliant idea and highly highly recommend um, by me as well to do that um, obviously she's wearing glasses you know matching to the gloves and then you have a bag that is a little bit different but different colors but it still works all together and I really like the pattern as well it's I think it's more classic pattern rather than if you go something um, colorful black and white it's always a really good idea it's more classic than if you go for something like magenta for example however magenta cape would be still absolutely stunning it's just something that maybe in few years you're going to feel like it's not for you anymore but I feel like um, not all of us we want to wear classic some of us we want to be more a little bit more crazy sometimes or a little bit more like adventurous then I think this is really great option for you as well if you're one of those ladies if you're living uh, in a countryside or you're just uh, interested in this kind of more like a countryside capes and obviously they are as well like um, really lovely like plaid this kind of gr or like tweed type of capes so having those um, capes can be a really great idea as well if you're living in a countryside and you can wear them when you're going for a walk with your dog or just somewhere you know for a walk over and um, they can just give you a little bit more extra chic like you're going to feel a little bit more chic rather than if you would just wear something very like a sporty I think those capes and um, something like this like this one with um, these elements of leather as well in the finish it's really really lovely and um, you can't really go wrong something like with something like this um, for the countryside as well Obviously, if you are more like a city girl, then um, go for something that is just maybe wool cape. Those are really, really nice, really chic. You can wear them to work, as I said. You can wear them basically everywhere because they are really lovely type of like a, a outwear, like a coat type, type of coats, I would say. Um, and again, you know, very classic is going to be black. You can't really go wrong with black, you know, cape. Uh, very another color is going to be the classic one is going to be tan color it's kind of caramel those are going to be i think the most two classic colors when it comes to cape it's very similar like with normal coats i would say this is just this type of coat that uh, you're not going to have sleeves so having those kind of uh, leather gloves is just makes some sense as well to just cover yourself a little bit more obviously if you are in cape during the like spring then you don't necessarily need to cover yourself so much but if it's a winter then you want to have a um, you don't really want to feel cold basically so obviously matching everything in the same kind of shade like over here you have the beige, um, light beige coat, light, light beige cape, light like a nude heels and nude back and then just some white trousers and a white like a um, white with I think black or navy strip um, jumper. I think this is really nice combo as well, very like a city chic I would say, uh, adding some you know adding some um, watch as well it's a really good idea so it's just something that um, you can't really go wrong with that as well it's beautiful colors white and nude color works really well together and they look very very expensive and they very 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 chic and they are very light colors so obviously they are very feminine rather than muscular so if you're trying to um, add this femininity to yourself then I think this is really good combination rather than going for like dark black cape Okay, darlings, I think that's it for today when it comes to capes. Capes are really, really stunning. The only thing what the only thing what I would say is just to avoid those really long ones because personally I think they are not so feminine and they don't look so great like those shorter ones. But that's just my opinion as well. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about capes? Would you buy one? If um, you would buy one, what would be the primary color for you? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up because it's really supporting my channel and see you in the next video.